This video is going to be about how you could use the Keywords Everywhere Chrome extension to do all of your SEO research and planning. I'll teach you how to use the tool, how to do keyword research, and how you can create a blog post outline through that keyword research. So with that said, let's get started. All right, everyone, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe uh, if you are enjoying this type of content. Now, before we dive in, I want to invite you to a free email course that I just launched. Um, if you go to klfong.co forward slash affiliate dash blog dash course, um, you will be able to enroll in my affiliate blogging course. Um, I'll teach you how you can kickstart your affiliate business and start making passive income from your blog in five days. So I will be teaching you how to build an affiliate blog from scratch. So if you go to this page, you put your first name and your email address, um, you will automatically be, en be enrolled in my free course and I will immediately send you lesson number one um, to your inbox. So if you're interested, definitely go here and enroll for free. So keywords everywhere. I've been hearing about this tool over the past year or so on the Facebook groups, on Twitter. Now, this is a keyword research tool that is, I would say, one of the most affordable ones that are out there. So the pricing is starts at $10 for 100,000 credits. Now, what is a credit? A credit is basically for one keyword. So. Basically, if you want to know, if you want to reveal the search volume for a particular keyword, that will equal one credit, all right? And you have 100,000 words that you can reveal the search volume for. So tons of words just for $10. So this is a Chrome extension, so um, it connects to your Chrome. And here's how it works. Here's how you could use keywords everywhere. So since it's connected to Chrome, you need to do your keyword research on Google, All right? So you type in your seed keyword in the search box. In this case, I'm just gonna do, you know, how to create a blog for affiliate marketing, All right? So on the right-hand side, this is where most of the information you will be working you'll be using to work off of. So when you do a keyword research, or if you do a search on Google, you can click on the find long tail keywords for this search query. So when you click on this button, it will uh, give you this report right here that lists out all of the related keywords for that search term you typed into Google. All right, so if you have the paid version, you will be able to see the search volume, cost per click, the competition, the trend over the past year, and also the trending percentage. All right, so you don't necessarily need to pay because the data that it shows you might be already good enough. It might already be good enough. So for my search term, how to create blog for affiliate marketing, you will see there's a lot of related keywords. So you see how to create a blog for affiliate marketing, how to make a blog, how to start a blog, um, creating a blog, how to make money. So what does this tell me? This basically tells me that the term that I searched for is a pretty viable term because there are other related keywords that are very, very similar to that. All right. So another thing that I'd like to look at is this box right here. So this data will basically tell me whether or not I should be vying for this keyword. Is this a good keyword that I should be targeting? Right, so you wanna look at SEO difficulty. So this is a zero out of 100, 100 being the most difficult. So my recommendation is to always choose a SEO difficulty of 50 or below if you are starting off, okay? Brand query basically means that is this search term related to a brand or a company like Nike or Xerox? Ideally, you don't want to target a keyword that it is associated to a brand. 
off-page difficulty and on-page difficulty. Ideally, these should be 50 or below if you are starting off. So off-page difficulty basically is a score that that is determined out of these top ranking pages. What is their backlink profile like? Like the higher the the difficulty basically means that these sites are very popular because there are a lot of backlinks pointing to these pages. Now the on-page difficulty measures the on-page body content of these uh, top ranking pages, right? So um, the higher the score basically means that they are very well optimized for all of the related keywords. So again, I like to choose 50 or below ideally, right? So related keywords are related um, keywords that are associated with your main seed term. People also search for are the keywords that uh, Google automatically populates um, below the search box. And long tail keywords are additional keywords that are, are related to the search query as well. All right, so um, this is an excellent way to find additional terms that you might want to target for your blog post, right? So I always uh, like to, uh, when creating a blog post, I always like to start off with either an Excel document or a Google Doc. Um, in this video, I'm going to be using a Google document. Now, this is the general outline I like to follow. I like to have a section for the title tag, the H1, and also all of the H2s. Right, so I will be using the data from Keywords Everywhere to populate these sections. Okay, so for the title tag, the, the seed term always needs to be part of the title tag because that's what you want to rank for, right? So I'm basically going to um, copy and paste that. And another thing that I like to do is look at my competitors. I like to look at what types of title tags my competitors have, right? So how to start affiliate marketing for beginners. I think this says a step-by-step -step guide and then a step-by-step -step guide creating a blog for affiliate marketing, how to start an affiliate marketing blog and grow it to 100K affiliate marketing in 2021. So what I'm am noticing is that there are a handful that are mentioning a step-by-step -step guide. So that basically is telling me that if I want to rank for this term, I need to be talking about a step-by-step -step process and teaching people how to create a blog for affiliate marketing. So if that's the case, I need to add a step-by-step -step guide in the title tag. Now I like to also garnish it with, it looks like, you know, looking at the related keywords and people also search for section, it looks like people are searching by year, all right? So what that tells me is that people want the latest and up-to-date uh, information. And if I do have the year in the title tag, that might give me an opportunity to rank higher as well. So I'm going to put 2021, all right? So this could be the general way of how I uh, how I would create the title tag, right? Now for the H1, I always like to, I don't like to do the exact uh, title tag. I don't like to copy the exact uh, title tag for the H1. I always like to mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to the long tail keywords and try to see if there are there is a long tail keyword that I could use for the H uh, for the H1. Okay, so my seed is how to create a blog for affiliate marketing. I could probably do how to make a blog for affiliate marketing, right? So I'm going to copy that and then put that as the H1. Actually, let me. All right, so how to make a blog for affiliate marketing. So a little bit different from the title tag. Now the next step is to create the H2s. So I'm gonna go back to Google and see what kinds of um, H2s I, I should be using. So I can probably go to the keyword research report. So how to create a blog for affiliate marketing, how to make a blog, how to start a blog, right? So let's see. 
these are good uh, these are good keywords to add in the in the intro right so these are all pretty much related so I'm gonna hit enter and then just add uh, keywords here that I can potentially uh, mention in that respective section okay so I'm gonna basically just copy and paste all the related keywords that make sense for that section and affiliate marketing marketing blog example I think this could be a good uh, h2 for right this could be a good h2 so I could create a section that lists out different examples and then I'm gonna go back um, let's see how to make money this could be a good one how to make money so this could be an h2 and then I could talk about different ways you can make money and then affiliate marketing post this could be another good one this could either fall under the affiliate marketing blog example or affiliate marketing post let's just maybe create it as its own h2 affiliate marketing websites this is very related to affiliate marketing blog example so i'm going to put that keyword under here because i want to remind myself that hey i need to mention this keyword in this section so i'm going to go here uh affiliate marketing web okay i did that already how to start affiliate marketing with no money so this one could probably be uh this could probably be under the the first uh, paragraph so we're basically clustering we're basically clustering another thing that i always like to do also is um, look at this feature too so under all of the your competitors um, you will be able to see the organic traffic per month for that page and also the organic traffic per month for the entire website you also see the total keywords that the page is ranking for and the total keywords that the whole site is ranking for now I always like to look at the total keywords that the page is ranking for right so all you do is you just hover over the results and then you click on the that number and it'll show you all of the keywords that this page is ranking for now why do I want to know this I want to know this because um, this will basically give me all of the keywords that I need to mention on my page if I want to make sure I um, am ranking um, you know as high as I can for this search term right so I want to look at least for the top five I want to get a whole list and make sure I'm mentioning all of those keywords so I could go through here and just try to see which ones I could cluster together all right so um, let's see here free blog for affiliate marketing this could probably fall under affiliate marketing blog example or maybe I could create another h2 and have that as maybe a section where I can maybe have uh, you know a, a theme or things like that that I can offer my readers I could also do uh, how to write affiliate posts oh this one is a really good one that falls under affiliate marketing posts right so I'm gonna how to write affiliate post actually I'm gonna switch it so I'm going to uh, put that right here and then I'm going to move this up here because it makes more sense how to write affiliate posts right and then in the body I'm going to mention affiliate marketing post now I'm gonna go back blogs like how to get affiliate links on your blog this is a really good one that I possibly can create as another h2 make that as an h2 then I'm go here let's see how to write so again these are pretty much the the core keywords related so I want to make sure I touch on all of these uh, big head terms the core keywords higher up 
so ideally within the first paragraph so the intro paragraph and then us affiliate marketing step by step 2021 uh website or affiliate blog or blog for affiliate marketing how to write affiliate post blogs with affiliate links this could be another good one that falls uh, right over here right so i can add it here to make sure that i'm mentioning this particular keyword in this particular section right so this would be how i would structure the outline and just use all of the keywords that keywords everywhere is giving me and then just build out clusters from there and then once i am done then i will start populating um, this outline to create an entire blog post all right so hopefully you thought this was helpful uh, make sure to uh, like this video also so subscribe to this channel and with that said, I will speak to you all in the next video.